okay I was able to uh, pull the uh, regular charge wire um, that comes off of the uh, output terminal um, of the stock uh, dis uh, alternator I was able to pull that out of the loom a little bit and pull it across and so it actually did fit and um, the uh, pigtail there was a lot of room for the pigtail and um, it uh, you know left me in pretty good shape down here on the wiring so all of that's done I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this the stock uh, wire run that goes it, it runs across the back of the motor and it comes over here to the um, the fuse and relay block it comes up there on a little stay con uh, electrical connector um, a lot of times those turn green and uh, the uh, resistance goes real high on them and then they heat up um, I've actually seen them um, get the bus bars inside uh, that uh, that relay rack so hot that it'll just melt the whole assembly and so uh, that's something that you want to uh, take a look at be aware of also the fuse that's in there um, the position of the fuse would be um, right here this one that's marked 60 amps that is uh, the size fuse that's in um, the uh, cars that have the 55 amp alternator and I suppose that's some kind of a protection from uh, overcharging or something in the electrical system but that's a problem because if I'm making 105 amps and that's fused at 60 um, then uh, there's a possibility that that will think that it's overcharging and uh, clear that fuse which would be a problem and so as I generally do I'm going to take that uh, uh, wire off the back of the alternator I'm going to put a, f a four gauge cable I'm going to bring it over here and I'll bring it up around and then see I've got this fancy uh, terminal and I've got a hole in there that I can get a, another four gauge wire in and um, I'll connect that up make sure that I've got a good feed to it a lot of people scrimp when it comes to the ground side now underneath this split loom that's right here um, I didn't have uh, the size uh, cable that I wanted, so I used three um, sections of 8 gauge cable. And um, you know, that runs down here to the uh, transmission mount. That's the main ground for the whole system. Um, that grounds the block and everything that's grounded to the block. And then um, I also ran off of the, here, I've got um, two other ground leads. That are on there that are uh, 10 gauge wire and of course I ran one over here to, to bond the chassis and the other one um, comes up in here and it's just for the headlights because I've got the high powered headlights in it and so you want to make sure that all of your grounds come back right back here to your um, uh, negative terminal on the battery uh, you get too many grounds running around, you get corrosion going in the chassis, you'll start building ground loops. And so with all of the extra um, electronics that I've added to the car, all the relays and all of the things, everything that I've added comes back down onto this um, shelf that's under here and is bonded to that and then directly from there back over here to um, the battery ground so that um, that that uh, minimizes the chances that you'll get ground loops running in the system. Anyway, uh, alternators in um, doesn't look doesn't look half bad in there either. Um, after I get out of the sun and go back down into my lair, I will record the finish of this. I try to mix some of this down. I know it's a little choppy, and if it gets posted to YouTube uh, in this choppy manner, it's just because I'm new at this whole video game. I'm not even really uh, good at narrating these things, so um, I'll try to work on it a little bit, but I apologize if it hits the, the internet the way it is.